The case of former EPISD administrators James Anderson, Nancy Love, John Tanner, Mark Tegmeyer, and Diane Thomas accused of a district-wide cheating scandal once again to be tried, this time with only four of the five accused. She is done at this point. So That's the attorney for former about. Austin High School assistant principal Diane Thomas after Thursday's hearing. U.S. District Judge Daniel Briones dropping Thomas's only charge of alleged retaliation. I think it was definitely the right result um, based on everything that we filed and everything that everyone has heard. Um, it's good to see that someone can see that there's justice and I know that the fellow defendants and their attorneys are going to continue to fight um, to get a good result for their clients in this particular case. Judge Briones also deciding there was not enough evidence of intentional misconduct by assistant U.S. attorneys Deborah Kanoff, Rifia Nuwas, and Robert Almonte II in the 2017 mistrial, sanctioning the federal prosecutors for negligence after concluding they failed to turn over all relevant evidence to the defense ahead of the trial. can't look at that record and not question that. John Tanner's attorney not happy about the judge's decision, wanting a full dismissal of the case. U.S. Attorney for West Texas, John Bash, flying in for the hearing. We're going to do, do a review of the policies in place to make sure we're able to see all evidence that law enforcement agencies have collected. And we said it publicly in the filing, the criminal chief of our office uh, is going to do that review uh, soon.